let's look at some, you know, the Cavs through uh, where they get six wins. When you look at um, where it's been the last couple of years, you see it a couple of years ago it was six and twenty. Last year six and nineteen. Now they sit at six and seven. So it's very interesting, and it's a sign of growth. And it's important to point out, Cavs are doing that without Colin Sexton, without Darius Gar. I mean, they're banged up and still finding a way to win. How impressive have they been? What are they doing well? They've been really impressive because, as you said, there are a lot of things that have been working against them on top of the fact that they were off the court for nine months because they weren't allowed into the Disney bubble. So coming into this season, they had some hurdles that they were going to have to overcome, right? And then the season starts and then they have to deal with more adversity in terms of the injuries and in terms of lineup shuffling. Um, so the fact that they are where they are right now, Dave, I think that's a testament to this organization. I think it's a testament to JP Bickerstaff. It's a testament to the players that have been healthy enough to play that they have bought in and they believe in what the Cavs are trying to do here. A big reason why they're six and seven is because Andre Drummond's been one of the best big men in the NBA that cannot be overlooked, even though they acquired Jared Allen and he's the long-term center for this organization. Andre Drummond has been great, and, and I don't think we should discount what he's meant to this organization's turnaround, even going back to last February. They have a record around 500 with Andre Drummond in the lineup. Um, it goes to show how important it is. It goes to show what he can do offensively, what he can do defensively, and the buy-in that he has had since coming over from Detroit in that trade. So. The way that they're doing it, Dave, ironically, defensively, we spent the entire offseason wondering if this team could make positive steps on the defensive end, given the personnel that they have. And they're a top five defense in the NBA so far. Uh, their offense has been spotty at best because of the guys that they've been missing. Um, but the defense and the, the competitiveness that they play with on a nightly basis that has allowed them to hang in games and win more than I think people would expect given all the circumstances that they've had to deal with. What about 